That's the traffic call, Victor Victor rolling to your right. Accelerometer just under the speed, yeah? Yeah, it's 1G now. Okay. We're doing 152. So, looking out the left wing is my preference anyway. Yeah. I'm going to gently pull back and we're going to get to about 3G. Is that about 3 now? Yeah, it's below 2.5. Okay, over the top, just try and keep 1G. Start to lose the oil. And back out to the wing tip again. Oh, that's probably more like 3G now. Yep. And out. And we've lost quite a bit of speed, and I think we gained about 200 maybe, didn't we? Yeah, 5.6. Like with all that excess energy, it's yeah. easy to gain height in a manoeuvre. Right, right. So, give it a go. Nice and gentle pull up first. And do nothing with the throttle, no? No, just leave the throttle. Okay. Just about to cross the More than that, pull, 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 pull. Otherwise uh, you'll get zero, nothing eight. over the top. Uh-huh. Roger, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. Harder, harder, harder. I'm going to run out of speed. Okay, ease off, ease off. Stay in your seat, stay in your seat. Pull, pull. Oh, sorry. That's it, yeah, just... Have you and now start to really pull the G, because we're going to go... That's it, gently, 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 and we're out. So if you don't keep the G on, on the downward line... Yeah. ...you'll overspeed the aeroplane. Right. Um, or at least you'll be above VA and you're then risking over Ging it very, very easily. Right. Okay, so we want to pull up quite tightly initially. Yeah. Um, so that we can keep positive G on over the top. If you leave it too gently, the speed will wash off. Yeah. Uh, quicker than the drag is being built up. Okay. Right. I have control. You have? Let's do 180. Try again. And then on the way down, you start starting to pull that G on nice and early so that the speed doesn't build up too much. Right. And even now, you know, see where the throttle is now, got about half open, I think. Yeah, yeah, you're on 19 manifold pressure, so, yeah. At 140 knots then, uh, and 5,500 foot, we take it up to 150, about. Yeah. There. Okay, so follow me through. Yeah. Right, pulling up now, looking out of the wingtip, and I'm watching the rate of rotation, and over the top, kind of the same stick position. Right wings of the Coming down now, really starting to bring on the G again. Stop. Yeah. Yeah, and that 20 knots that we've lost yeah. is probably just, A, I've got quite a low throttle setting, Yeah. Uh, and we ended up finishing a bit higher, so... Right, right, that's okay. probably about right. Uh, plus, I'm not doing very well with the rudders where I am, so we're ending up a little bit wing low over the top. So just watch that as we go up. You're going to need, as we pitch up and slow down, yeah. you're going to need more right rudder. Right. Yeah, because the engine is torquey, yeah. and we're slowing down. And yeah. then on the down line, you're going to progressively need left rudder. Right, but it's all very more little rudder. bit, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Okay, give it another go then. Start from about 150 knots. Okay. Get, get a feel for a pull up to 3G. Okay, here we go. You 
might be about 1G over the top. Five, four, two, three. Yeah. So lost 300 foot. What's it? Do you start at, do you start at five, five? A little bit lower because okay. we build the speed up. All right, okay. So back to five, five. Let's try a bit more throttle this time. Okay. Yeah, something like that maybe. What have we got now on the manifold breaker? 20, approaching 22. And uh, we try about 23. You'll find lower down, it gives you much more, it's, you know, you keep the speed a lot easier. Right, okay. Another one? Yep. So we're five and a half. Build the speed up. No, no need to build the speed up. We're already at looping speed. Uh, okay, yeah, 150. Okay. So get this. I think I w if we go for about 150 and 5.5, five, don't bury the nose. There's just no need. Okay, here we go. Okay, straight to 3G. Pull, pull. Start to feed in the right rudder gently. Keep the ball in the middle. Looking out, looking out, looking out over the top. That's good. A bit more left later on as we're feeding the right rudder, of course. And now pull the G in, pull the G in. That's good, what's that for? 5-5, five, five. well we're back where we were. What's the caution for? Fuel flow. Okay. Right. One more, or? Yep, let's more do one more. So uh, we do a 180? Yeah, let's do a 180. Oh, we're not that far away from Chippy North. We are getting blown away from the airfield. So where can you go wrong? Because the speed seems to be okay, the speed doesn't really pick up much. That's because you keep the G on, right? Yeah, you're dragging it, you're, stop you're generating a lot of drag to stop the speed from building. Right, right. And if you, if you get speed in and the speed out the same, at the same height, yeah. then effectively what you've got is your, your G-force will be proportional to your speed. So if we're half the speed at the top, you'll need to be pulling half the G-force to, to get the same sort of confront, circumference to your your loop. Right, right. Okay. Uh, try a, a roll then. So I have control. Okay, you have control. Leveling off about there, I suppose. Power back on again. So you're on 19, 20, it's building up, 21. Oh, okay. So it's still about 150 knots. 155, yeah. So for the roll then, because we don't want to do any negative stuff, pull up to your feet are on the horizon, and then just roll. It's trimmed out for 1G, so just move the sticks straight across without pulling or pushing. Am I doing this or are you no, doing it? I'll do it, so follow me through. Yeah. So picture up. Yeah. Feet on the horizon, relax yeah. the pressure, and then just move it straight across. And we'll end up slightly nose low and recover and hopefully about the same height as we started at. Oh, you didn't do anything with your feet, did you? Uh, no, you can help it round with a bit of rudder. Yeah. Um, in fact, you probably should. But I just, yeah, I'm not... These rudders aren't very easy to use, so... No. Um, and that's it, really. Right. It, it's, it's the idea is we have trimmed out for 1G. Yeah. So even if we're upside down, the airplane should still be pulling 1G if you let go of the stick. Sure. For this kind of speed. Right. So, uh, give that a go. Okay. Have control. I have control, so nose up. Feet on the horizon. Feet on the horizon. Feeding a little bit of top rudder now. And stop. So in the top rudder, left or right? Uh, the same way round. Because we're maintaining 1G, the rudder's always going to help with the aileron roll. You counteract that advert. Uh, always to the right. Yeah. If we start doing slow rolls, that's, yeah. that's where you start end up going negative. Yeah. The negative angle attack, the rudder effectiveness reverses. Right, fine. And that's where it gets really weird. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Let me just. Uh, okay, yeah, here we go. Speed. Yep, go on, go for it. Speed on the horizon. Roll all the way over. Now, we oh. might feel. Oh, see? Hey? Okay. Did you feel there's a little bit of banging in the stick? No, I didn't. Do that. Okay, I have control. You have? Straight, did it in the four. This one's playing quite nicely. We're in 140 knots. Uh... Okay. So, just pitching up. 
Back right to the left. Oh Just yeah. Feel that little little. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Oh, fuck me, that's worse from the back seat. I swear. Right. Ooh. And that's just a, it's that little bit of banging on some of the RVs yeah. is like a bang, 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 oh, bang, really? bang, yeah. And that's a bit like when we were stalling, actually. Right. And you've got, kind of got that bang in the airframe. Right. And that's just the airflow breaking off the back of the aileron. Yeah. And it effectively, you're just stalling at, at, at quite high speed. All right, okay. And all you do is you just back it off a little bit. It, it's a known thing with the RVs. Yeah. Um, just worth experiencing and just all you've got to do is not not panic just relax it a tiny bit and it will stop that banging fair enough but this one's being quite nice fuel i just moved the fuel to the left right okay uh, what do we do one more yep you have control i have control so we do a roll okay well the speed is already there isn't it so <laughs> pull up Oh, a bit too early. <laughs> yeah, you lose a lot of speed even in the roll. Okay, so. I